Okay, guys, this is what I would consider a sleeper. A sleeper game. This is called Graven. So this just came out. Um, high hopes for this game. It got mixed reviews mainly because there are a lot of bug issues, which uh, I know they're addressing. I'm sure they're going to address. But, um, yeah, a lot to this game. So basically, there it's to me, it's a cross between Skyrim Oblivion or... Uh, uh, Sky yeah, Skyrim Oblivion. Sorry, I had to think of the name for a second. And uh, Doom, like old school Doom. Man, I don't even know how you really describe the story of this game, but basically you're a mage uh, that like takes the fall for someone or something like that, and then super bad. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This game looks phenomenal. Um, so yeah, let's just send it as always, see how it is. A pious man among pious men. Our priest of the Orthogon Order humbly walks the parallel path. Following the Creator through service. Father to an adopted daughter, as fate would have it, he cherished her, and they shared a love of both learning and charity. But not all walk their parallel path. They serve another, not a Creator, not begotten, and their transgressions lay a heavy price upon the Sanger, giving birth to unknown strength. Red-handed from the blood of a heretic, the blood of a fellow priest, without being able to see how once more he is tried and found guilty. What divides contrition and shame? Acceptance, <clears throat> acceptance, succumbing to the burning sands and arguing not over the price of her life. He closes his eyes one last time. A prayer for peace. So basically the story there is, right, guy has a daughter. Daughter, a priest sacrifices the daughter. Uh, and he ends up killing the priest. People are like, oh my god, you killed the priest. So now he gets exiled, dies. And now I guess this is like our second second wind. Don't forget your stuff, priest. It's the, the only, only thing. thing that will keep you alive. Okay. You're gonna need it more than I. Okay, so we got this and a book. Oh, I thought I died already. I was like, damn, that was quick. Man, everything is breakable. Now, you know your boy's 100 percent this shit. Ready? Oh. Sorry. I'm just breaking everyone's shit. This guy, this guy's just trying to make a living, and I'm over here just destroying his stuff. He's like, I just want to make a living on the fish market. Well, too bad. Journal updated. Mm, take care of that problem. The pea barrels with the, with a bit of flame should do a tr do the trick. What's my mission? Oh, oh, this. Hold on. Gotcha. All right, we're in. This is our first fight and our first spell. It looks like. Tool to light torches, explosives, and ice. Okay, so this is our first spell. So this is gonna take probably five. Ooh, okay. We don't have a lot of magic, which is not great. Like in, in hindsight, it's just not enough. So it seems to be missing a lever. Not good. Here's the lever. Okay. Boom. So now we have those explosive barrels. We take one, we put it over here. Boom. Now we light this bitch. Oh, jeez, you gotta be pretty far away from that. Journal updated. We did it. We beat the mission. Let's go. Now, let's go talk to this guy. He'll, he'll be happy to hear that we did his thing for him. Good enough, but I wish you hadn't brought the stench back up with you. Even the plague smells better. Go on in. 
Yeah! Okay, this guy looks important to talk to. I hate to plead, but it seems like passing through, or at least... Okay, what do you want to reach the library? Tough luck, besiege on all fronts. Head that way, you can't get out... You can't get out while the plague horde is breathing down upon us. The old sunken lighthouse. We fuel it from the storage towers nearby. Light it, we might stand a chance. Okay. So I guess this plague's kind of based on light or whatever. Ooh. Treasure map. Now that looks a lot like... Huh. Might have to go back to the start and find them. I guess there's a... Yep. There's a treasure over here. Ooh, lots of gold down here, dude. You might, we might have to take some damage here, but it'll be worth it. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Ooh, that was another explosive barrel I messed up. <laughs> Shit. Ooh. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. Six damage. What's this? Cuff. Okay, so this is an actual... Okay, let's get the sword. Definitely get the sword for 250. That's not even a question. I need a sword. The sword's wet. Yes. Yes. Well, that's not good when they give you a respawn point like that. That tells me that there's going to be some fighting going on. And probably some death. All right, who wants it? Oh. Wow, there's even blood on the sword. I'm actually a little impressed. Need a key for this, okay. What is that? Oh, that's the key. Skeleton key used. What is that thing running away? Ooh, hey, cuffs. Ooh, is this thing any good? Short answer, no. Anything special over here? I'm not seeing anything. Oh, we have gold. How much, how much gold? 900. I'm at 900 gold now. Get absolutely decimated. Not even, not even on my level. Not even. Wow. Let's go left first. It is just a slaughter fest here. Okay, so this doesn't open yet. There's going to be some way to open that. Okay, here's the lighthouse. So, hold on. Let's grab whatever this is. This peat fuel canister. Don't know what that's for yet. Oh, okay. So this is how we're going to reignite the lighthouse. Gotcha. So, this is going to loop. I'm willing to bet. Ooh, serpent key. Now, I haven't seen where we're going to put this serpent key, so I don't know what the point of that is. What is up here? Come here, bitch. Just put him in a circle. Oh, right, because you have to go... I see. So this is actually... This all makes sense now, because you have to go this way in order to get back to where we were. There's a couple of different ways we can go. That's what they're doing. So if I go this way, right, I can jump up to here. It, that hurt, that stung a bit. And now this loops back to secret found. This loops back to where that giant door was. Oh, here it is. Wait. So that's where the giant door was. Now I believe if we take it right here, it's going to drop down to um, it's going to drop down to the lighthouse, if I'm not mistaken. So it looks like we just found our first sword. We already bought one. So can I dual wield swords, dude? Yeah, I already have one, so it's not giving it to me, which is a god awful shame, honestly. We place the second one in. And now we light. 
Ooh, a little cinematic too. Let me talk to you. I'm not doing business with you. Okay. There it is, boiled over. Apparently, somewhere within the tangled reach is a path to the library, and from there, hopefully, answers. I recall spawning a blocked gate at the Lice South. You should find it. Oh, wait. The locked gate's the giant gate that we were uh, talking about before, right? Yep. See, it's open. The door is now open. Oh. Oh! How cool is that? So now we're... Oh, the gate. Okay. So we just did a giant loop for no fucking reason whatsoever, but you know what? Not mad about it, because that's pretty cool how they connect. Oh, I thought you survived that because it's okay. Well, I broke the game. I've broken the game. The game is now broken. I ended this video, but you know what? I'm gonna. I, I, this is how nuts I am, right? So I had, uh, I had a game-breaking bug. Game-breaking bug where I lost my save. Luckily, we weren't too far in. I was probably about an hour into the recording. I'm about to show you guys the first ever speed run of this of this game. Ready? Watch this. Boom. Done. Eh, eh. Eh. Speed run. Let me put the fucking thing down. Let me put the. Okay, I'm mad. I'm angry now. Move. Thank you. There's one. Later, bitches. Oh, that did not work. Oh, no, yeah, it did. Sweet. So those are dead. Perfect. Thank you, let me pass. Okay, this is where things get a little tricky because we can't afford to buy the sword like we did before. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bomb through and hopefully get to the sword later. There's gonna be one fight I'm gonna have to take, which sucks, but we'll make it work. I don't even remember where you get the gauntlet. Nice, okay, here's the gauntlet. Keep, keep it going. Oh, this is gonna suck, but. Uh, I forgot to get the money from the uh, sunken treasure. Okay, cool. That's dead. Oh, I forgot that it blows up more. Okay. We won't talk about it. It's still part of the speed run. Okay. Perfect. So far, we're at a good eight minute speed run. Back to where we were. Sword, which is solid. A lot of these, don't worry about them. Cool. Stay up there. Nice. Boom, boom. I don't know what the peep bricks are for, but whatever. Cool. And we're pretty much back to where we were. <laughs> Only took us nine minutes. I wonder if this gate opened. It did. God, I, I'm so smart, dude. I'm just, I'm way too smart for this game. Ooh, and we just got. Ooh, God damn. Ooh. Yeah, this is what I like. This is exactly what I like. High damage. I don't have that many shots, but as long as I hit the head, it's an insta-kill. I found an egg. Empowers the staff to break certain barriers and deals more damage. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, so now our, our staff essentially just became a key. So how does this open? I have a gut feeling that this staff won't help me here. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, little treasure map? Oh, hold on. Little treasure map? Uh, I don't know what this means, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture. Huh. I wish I could take that sword. Ooh, hold on. Ready? Watch this. Maybe. Bonfire lit. Ah, a little, little homage to, uh, or homage to, uh, Dark Souls. We have a puzzle. Hold on, does it have to do with the picture we just took? Oh, no, 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 it does, it does. It does help us. So this has to be just a plain square. Well, none of these are plain squares, so that's not great. Dude, I'm not getting this puzzle. 
two lines. So the top's two lines. That's that's fine. We get that. I think I think what we're missing is I'm looking at the picture. I think what we're missing is like a second part. Like I think there's another paper somewhere that will tell me the other part of this puzzle. Oh. Boom. Let me take a picture. Okay, after guys, after 10 minutes of trying to figure this puzzle out, I, I had to look up the answer because there's no square puzzle. Like there's no, apparently this is the answer. After a lot of digging because no one answered this, apparently somehow this is the answer. And I don't, I'm, I listen, as, as someone who's considered a genius, I have no clue how this is the answer. How did they get that based off? Okay, well, we'll take it. Whatever. Anyway, we have the key. Let us move forward. Let us move on. Oh. Wait, what? I have the key. Where's the key? Where's the key go? That's actually very convenient. Go, 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 go. And now we're taking damage, and now we're taking damage, and now we're taking damage. This is not good. This is not good. This is no bueno. No bueno, we're good. Oh my god. Wow. Thank god I found that. Holy shit. It was almost really bad. What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do I do? Do I hit him? Oh, oh, okay. I think they do take damage, actually. Yes, they do. Okay. One. Dead. Oh, but we have the key. Yes. So this loops back to where we were. We got the key. And now this key probably goes up and to the left, if I were to guess. If I were a betting man. Uh, yes. Wow. God, how long does this game go on for, dude? Ooh, what's this? Picked up a peat burner. What the hell's a peat burner? What the What's even... I don't even know what peat is. I think this is the backside. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this... Is so the door should be right here. There's a door. Yep. Perfect. So this loops back. Can we go in here? No, we need a key. Oh, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Awesome. I found a skull key. I mean, this just has to lead back to spawn, right? Yeah, so I think this is what the yeah, 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 so that's what's gonna loop back to uh, the sewers so that I can uh, Get back to uh, the town Right because here's the start right that leads back to the sewers So we're actually towards the end of this because right if we went down there it takes us back Wow, it's almost like Dark Souls with how well it loops There's like th you can tell that the inspiration for this game comes from like 20 different games Okay. Almost just killed myself with that. So I have the key, but I don't know what it goes to. Ah, yes, yes. Awesome. I'm coming, bitch. Journal updated. God. Success. I only need the remaining instructor of the town guard. So now we can head back to the town. Merchant, thank you for your help. No problem, tax collector. Oh, okay, so this is open. We're heading up the tower. We're heading up the tower. Ha. Huh. What are you gonna do? Wait, 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 wait. Fool. Idiot. Imbecile. Okay. And now we have this, the library key. 
which is the whole point of this game so far to get to that library this might sting stop with the throwing knives library key boom we are in the library here he oh it's the it's the boat guy patience is a virtue okay guys finally i can end it there holy shit that was i i'm not even kidding you that's like a three maybe three and a half hour recording that i just did which is more than double what i normally do for a recording <laughs> a lot i have to say about this game so a couple things that i'd like to see right first off okay I get the mixed reviews. Uh, there are some game breaking issues right now in early access. Like I literally lost my first save, which is why we had to speed run uh, as you guys saw. So that is the first really bad uh, game breaking error that I've seen. There's a lot I'd like to see in the sense of upgrading. Like I feel like, like I'd like to upgrade my health, upgrade my magic. Like I feel like this is a great game for a leveling system because in reality, you don't have to fight any enemies. You can just run through the entire game if you wanted to. And then you just, if, like, I'm sure someone's going to speed run this. The other thing is there's no real sense of direction. So, for instance, you basically have to go back and find whatever gate you open. Like, there's nothing that tells you that a gate is open. It just goes, oh, you figured this out. Use this storybook to find it. And I wouldn't have a problem with that. But look at how you have these beautiful maps that you've basically hand drawn, but there's no markers on it. You know what I mean? So I wish you can at least tell me what opened up when it opened up, you know? So if I broke, where did I break that? Uh, I broke a totem here, right? So for some reason I break this totem or this totem and this opens up, but you don't tell me. So that's, that's kind of one of the things I'd like to see. Other than that, I don't have too many problems with the game. Like it, it, it's, it's a fun adventure game, RPG adventure, whatever you want to call it. But again, it's in early access. $25 on Steam, which is a little pricey, uh, but the game seems pretty long. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to play this on my own. I don't think I'm going to stream it, but I think you guys should get it if you're into these kind of games. It's got it's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, you got puzzles, you got Dark Souls-like mechanics, you got great map making. Um, so yeah, um, social media down below, promo codes down below, uh, stream links down below, and that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully I'll see you at stream. And in the next video, so.